Have you ever wondered how the serene life of a monk could impact your daily existence? Imagine unlocking a treasure trove of habits that could transform your life in unimaginable ways. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we unravel the wisdom of the ages to weave a tapestry of inspiration and insight. Today, embark on a journey to discover 10 monk habits that can truly change your life. Picture this. You're rushing through your day, juggling endless tasks and responsibilities. Does this sound familiar? Pause for a moment and consider, what if there's a simpler way to navigate through life's complexities? What if the secret lies in the ancient practices of Buddhist monks who have mastered the art of mindful living? Join us as we delve into the timeless wisdom of Buddhism, a philosophy that transcends borders and speaks to the very core of human existence. Our mission to uncover the profound impact of 10 monk habits and guide you towards a life filled with purpose, peace, and fulfillment. But wait, why should you care about monk habits? Well, think about this. If a monk's way of life can bring tranquility amidst the chaos of monastery life, imagine what it could do for your everyday struggles. From managing stress to cultivating gratitude, these habits offer a roadmap to a more meaningful existence. Now, let's set a goal, 100 likes for this video. Why? Because we believe in the power of community and the ripple effect of positivity. By hitting that like button, you're not just supporting our channel, but you're also spreading the message of wisdom to countless others. So welcome aboard this journey of discovery. Buckle up as we navigate through the mystique of monk habits and unlock the secrets to a life well lived. Remember, the power to change your life lies within your grasp. Let's embark on this adventure together, one habit at a time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more transformative insights. Lesson 1. The Power of Mindfulness Mindfulness is like a gentle breeze that guides us through the chaos of life, bringing clarity and peace to our minds. It's the art of being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. Imagine a serene lake reflecting the beauty of the surrounding trees. That's the essence of mindfulness. In today's fast-paced world, our minds are often scattered, jumping from one thought to another like a restless monkey. But mindfulness teaches us to anchor ourselves in the here and now, freeing us from the grip of worries about the past or future. By simply observing our breath or the sensations in our body, we can center ourselves and find a profound sense of calm. Moreover, mindfulness isn't just about relaxation. It's a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. When we practice mindfulness, we become more attuned to our innermost thoughts and emotions, allowing us to understand ourselves on a deeper level. This self-awareness empowers us to make conscious choices rather than being driven by unconscious habits or impulses. Furthermore, mindfulness enhances our relationships with others. By listening attentively and without judgment, we show genuine care and understanding, fostering stronger connections. It cultivates empathy and compassion, enabling us to appreciate the humanity in everyone we encounter. One beautiful aspect of mindfulness is its accessibility. It can be practiced anytime, anywhere, whether we're washing dishes, walking in nature, or simply sitting quietly, we can bring mindfulness into our daily lives. It doesn't require any special equipment or training. All it demands is our willingness to be present. As we incorporate mindfulness into our routine, we begin to notice its transformative effects. We become less reactive to stressors, more resilient in facing challenges, and more appreciative of life's simple joys. It's like polishing a diamond. With each moment of mindfulness, we uncover our innate brilliance. In essence, mindfulness is the cornerstone of a fulfilling and meaningful life. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery, growth, and inner peace. So let's take a moment to pause breathe, 
and immerse ourselves in the beauty of the present moment. Lesson 2. Embracing Simplicity Living a simpler life can profoundly transform your daily experience. Imagine waking up each morning feeling lighter, with less clutter in your mind and surroundings. This is the essence of embracing simplicity. Simplifying your life doesn't mean deprivation. It means focusing on what truly matters. It's about decluttering your physical space, your schedule, and your mind to create more room for peace and clarity. Think about the last time you felt overwhelmed by the sheer number of things you had to do. Simplifying allows you to prioritize and let go of unnecessary tasks, leaving you with more time and energy for what brings you joy. Consider the monk who owns only a few possessions, a robe, a bowl, perhaps a few other essentials. This minimalist approach allows them to travel lightly through life, unencumbered by material possessions. Simplifying your surroundings can have a profound effect on your mental well-being. A clutter-free environment promotes calmness and focus, making it easier to concentrate and be productive. Take a moment to reflect on the things you own. How many of them do you truly need or use regularly? Simplifying means letting go of excess stuff and embracing a more minimalist lifestyle. Simplifying your schedule is equally important. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to overcommit and spread yourself too thin. By saying no to non-essential obligations, you create space for what truly matters. Picture yourself with a clear, uncluttered schedule. You have time to pursue your passions, spend quality time with loved ones, and nourish your body and soul. Embracing simplicity also means simplifying your thoughts. Our minds can be like a tangled ball of yarn, filled with worries, anxieties, and distractions. Meditation and mindfulness practices help untangle this mental clutter, allowing you to experience inner peace and clarity. Consider the beauty of a simple, mindful moment. Sipping a cup of tea, feeling the warmth of the sun on your face, or watching the sunset. These simple pleasures remind us of the richness of life that lies beyond material possessions. Simplifying your life doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey. Start small by decluttering one area of your life, whether it's your closet, your calendar, or your thoughts. As you simplify, pay attention to how it makes you feel. Notice the sense of liberation that comes from letting go of what no longer serves you and embracing what truly brings you joy. Remember that simplicity looks different for everyone. What works for a monk living in a monastery may not be practical for someone living in a bustling city. The key is to find what brings you peace and contentment in your unique circumstances. Embracing simplicity is a lifelong practice, one that requires mindfulness, intention, and a willingness to let go of what no longer serves you. Simplify, simplify, simplify. These words, famously spoken by Henry David Thoreau, capture the essence of living a simpler, more intentional life. In a world filled with distractions and excess, embracing simplicity is a radical act of self-care and self-discovery. It allows you to strip away the unnecessary and reconnect with what truly matters. Imagine the freedom that comes from living lightly with fewer possessions, fewer commitments, and fewer distractions. This is the gift of simplicity. As you embark on your journey towards simplicity, remember that it's not about perfection. It's about progress. Be gentle with yourself and celebrate the small victories along the way. Simplifying your life is an ongoing process, one that requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to let go of old habits and beliefs that no longer serve you. By embracing simplicity, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. You create space for creativity, connection, and fulfillment to flourish. So, take a deep breath, let go of what no longer serves you, and embrace the beauty of simplicity. Your journey towards a more intentional, fulfilling life starts now. Lesson 3. Cultivating Gratitude In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to overlook the little things that make life beautiful. 
But what if we told you that cultivating gratitude could be the key to unlocking a happier, more fulfilling life? Gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's a mindset, a way of seeing the world with fresh eyes and an open heart. Imagine waking up each morning and instead of dreading the day ahead, you feel a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to experience another day of life. It's a simple shift in perspective that can have profound effects on your overall well-being. When you approach life with gratitude, you begin to notice the abundance that surrounds you. From the warmth of the sun on your face to the smile of a stranger passing by, there are countless reasons to be grateful each day. But cultivating gratitude isn't just about counting your blessings. It's about actively seeking out moments of joy and appreciation in your everyday life. Take a moment to pause and reflect on the things that bring you joy, whether it's the sound of birds chirping outside your window or the taste of your favorite meal. By savoring these moments and expressing gratitude for them, you invite more positivity into your life. Gratitude also has the power to shift your perspective during challenging times. Instead of dwelling on what's going wrong, focus on what's going right. Even in the midst of adversity, there are often silver linings to be found. Perhaps a setback leads you down a new and unexpected path, or a difficult experience teaches you valuable lessons. By embracing gratitude, you can find strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Research has shown that practicing gratitude can have numerous benefits for both your physical and mental health. From reducing stress and anxiety to improving sleep and boosting overall happiness, the effects of gratitude are far-reaching. By making gratitude a daily habit, you can transform your life in profound ways. So how can you start cultivating gratitude in your own life? It's as simple as keeping a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're grateful for each day. You can also incorporate gratitude into your daily routine by taking a moment to say thank you to the people around you or by simply pausing to appreciate the beauty of nature. As you begin to cultivate gratitude in your life, you'll find that the world becomes a brighter and more beautiful place. So why not take the first step today and start counting your blessings? You may be surprised at just how much joy and fulfillment gratitude can bring into your life. Lesson 4. Finding Inner Peace In the chaotic hustle and bustle of our modern lives, finding inner peace seems like an elusive dream. Yet, monks teach us that it is not just a dream but an attainable reality. Inner peace is not about escaping from the world, but about finding tranquility within ourselves regardless of external circumstances. Imagine a serene lake, its surface undisturbed by the storms raging around it. This is akin to the inner peace that monks cultivate through their practices. They show us that amidst life storms, we can find a place of calm within ourselves. One of the key teachings in Buddhism is the practice of mindfulness. By being fully present in each moment, we can let go of worries about the past or anxieties about the future. This presence allows us to experience a profound sense of peace, right here, right now. Monks often spend hours in meditation, a practice that helps them connect with their innermost selves. Through meditation, they quiet the chatter of the mind and tap into a deep reservoir of peace that lies within each of us. It's like diving into the depths of our being and discovering a treasure trove of tranquility. But inner peace isn't just about meditation. It's also about how we relate to the world around us. Monks embody qualities like compassion and forgiveness, which contribute to their inner harmony. By cultivating these qualities in our own lives, we too can experience greater peace within ourselves. Think of a monk walking through a bustling marketplace, his demeanor calm and serene. He doesn't let the chaos around him disturb his inner peace. Instead, he remains grounded in his practice, radiating a sense of tranquility that others can't help but notice. Monks also emphasize the importance of simplicity in finding inner peace. By letting go of material possessions and worldly desires, they free themselves from unnecessary distractions. 
This simplicity allows them to focus on what truly matters, leading to a deeper sense of peace and contentment. In our fast-paced society, we often seek happiness in external things, wealth, status, possessions. But monks show us that true happiness comes from within. It's not about what we have, but about who we are and how we choose to cultivate inner peace. Picture yourself sitting in a quiet room, surrounded by the gentle sounds of nature. Your mind is clear, your heart is light, and you feel completely at ease. This is the essence of inner peace, a state of being that monks remind us is always within reach. By incorporating mindfulness, meditation, compassion, and simplicity into our lives, we can follow in the footsteps of monks on the path to inner peace. It may not always be easy, but the rewards, a deep sense of tranquility and contentment, are immeasurable. Lesson 5. The Practice of Compassion Compassion, the cornerstone of Buddhist teachings, is a profound practice that can transform lives. Imagine a world where everyone acts with kindness and understanding towards one another, where empathy reigns supreme. This is the essence of compassion, and it's a habit that monks diligently cultivate. At its core, compassion is about recognizing the suffering of others and actively seeking ways to alleviate it. It's a selfless act that arises from a place of genuine care and concern for others' well-being. When monks practice compassion, they not only benefit those around them, but also experience a deep sense of fulfillment and connectedness. One of the simplest yet most powerful ways to cultivate compassion is through loving-kindness meditation. In this practice, individuals extend wishes of happiness, peace, and well-being to themselves and others. By regularly engaging in loving-kindness meditation, monks develop a heartfelt sense of compassion that permeates every aspect of their lives. Compassion isn't limited to grand gestures or heroic acts. It can be expressed through small, everyday actions. Something as simple as offering a smile to a stranger or lending a listening ear to a friend in need can have a profound impact. Monks understand the significance of these seemingly minor acts and strive to embody compassion in all their interactions. Another essential aspect of compassion is empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. By putting themselves in someone else's shoes, monks gain insight into the challenges and struggles that others face. This empathy enables them to respond with compassion rather than judgment or indifference. Compassion also involves forgiveness, both towards others and oneself. Holding on to grudges or resentment only perpetuates suffering, whereas forgiveness liberates the heart and fosters healing. Monks recognize the transformative power of forgiveness and cultivate a mindset of compassion and forgiveness in their daily lives. Furthermore, compassion extends beyond human beings to encompass all living beings. Monks practice ahimsa, or nonviolence, towards all sentient beings, treating them with kindness and respect. Whether it's caring for animals, protecting the environment, or advocating for social justice, monks embody compassion in their actions towards all beings. Ultimately, compassion is not just a feeling but a way of life. It's about embodying kindness, empathy, and forgiveness in every thought word, and deed. By embracing the practice of compassion, monks inspire others to cultivate greater love and understanding in their own lives, creating a ripple effect of positivity and harmony in the world. Lesson 6 Living in the Present Moment Do you ever catch yourself lost in thoughts about the past or worrying about the future? It happens to all of us. But what if there was a way to break free from this cycle and truly live in the present moment? Imagine waking up each day with a sense of clarity and peace, fully engaged in the here and now. That's exactly what the monks have mastered through their practice of mindfulness. Living in the present moment means being fully aware of what's happening right now, without judgment or distraction. It's about savoring each moment, whether it's a simple breath of fresh air or the taste of a warm cup of tea. 
One of the keys to living in the present moment is to slow down and pay attention to the little things. Take a moment to notice the sights, sounds, and sensations around you. Feel the ground beneath your feet, the breeze on your skin, and the rhythm of your breath. When you're fully present, you're able to appreciate the beauty of life in its simplest moments. You start to notice the small miracles that happen every day, like the way the sunlight dances through the leaves or the sound of birds singing in the morning. Living in the present moment also means letting go of regrets about the past and worries about the future. Instead of dwelling on what could have been or what might happen, you focus your energy on what's happening right now. This doesn't mean ignoring your responsibilities or goals. It simply means approaching them with a sense of presence and mindfulness. By staying grounded in the present moment, you're better able to respond to challenges and make decisions with clarity and intention. Mindfulness isn't something that happens overnight. It's a skill that takes time and practice to develop. But the more you cultivate mindfulness in your daily life, the more you'll notice its positive impact on your overall well-being. So why not give it a try? Start by taking a few minutes each day to sit quietly and pay attention to your breath. Notice how your mind wanders and gently bring it back to the present moment. With patience and persistence, you'll find that living in the present moment becomes second nature, transforming your life in profound and beautiful ways. Lesson 7. Developing Self-Discipline Self-discipline is like a muscle that grows stronger with practice. Just as a monk devotes themselves to their daily rituals, we too can train our minds and bodies to adhere to our goals and aspirations. Imagine waking up every morning with a clear purpose, knowing exactly what you need to do to move closer to your dreams. That's the power of self-discipline. It starts with small steps. Setting achievable goals and sticking to them builds momentum. Whether it's waking up early, exercising regularly, or studying diligently, every act of self-discipline reinforces our sense of control and determination. But self-discipline isn't about being rigid or strict with ourselves. It's about finding balance and staying focused on what truly matters. Just as a monk maintains their daily routine with grace and flexibility, we too can adapt to challenges while staying committed to our path. One way to cultivate self-discipline is through mindfulness. By being present in the moment, we can resist distractions and stay committed to our goals. When temptations arise, we can pause, breathe, and remind ourselves of our deeper intentions. Another key aspect of self-discipline is self-awareness. Understanding our triggers and tendencies empowers us to make conscious choices. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can pause and consider the consequences of our actions. Consistency is essential in developing self-discipline. Like the steady drip of water wearing away stone, small daily actions accumulate over time to create lasting change. By committing to our goals day in and day out, we gradually strengthen our self-discipline muscles. It's important to celebrate our progress along the way. Each milestone achieved is a testament to our determination and resilience. By acknowledging our successes, we reinforce our belief in our ability to overcome challenges. However, self-discipline doesn't mean we have to go it alone. Just as monks support each other on their spiritual journey, we can seek guidance and accountability from friends, mentors, or support groups. Surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who share our values can provide invaluable encouragement and motivation. Ultimately, self-discipline is about aligning our actions with our deepest aspirations. When we cultivate the discipline to pursue what truly matters to us, we unlock our full potential and live with greater purpose and fulfillment. So, let's embrace the monk's mindset of discipline and dedication. By committing to our goals with clarity, consistency, and compassion, we can transform our lives and create a brighter future for ourselves and those around us. Lesson 8. Nurturing Emotional Balance Emotions are the colors of our inner landscape, 
painting our experiences with hues of joy, sorrow, anger, and love. Yet, without proper guidance, they can sometimes overwhelm us like a turbulent sea. In the teachings of Buddhism, there lies a profound wisdom on how to navigate this vast ocean of emotions and find tranquility within. Imagine a serene lake, its surface reflecting the azure sky above. Just as ripples disturb the stillness of water, our emotions can disrupt our inner peace. But like the lake, we can learn to settle our minds and embrace emotional balance. At the heart of this practice is awareness, the gentle observation of our feelings without judgment. When we acknowledge our emotions with kindness and curiosity, we create space for understanding and acceptance. This mindfulness allows us to respond to life's challenges with grace and resilience. Take a deep breath and center yourself in the present moment. Let go of the past and future and anchor your awareness in the here and now. Notice the sensations in your body, the rhythm of your breath, and the thoughts passing through your mind like clouds in the sky. In this state of mindfulness, you become a witness to your emotions, observing them as they arise and fade away like waves on the shore. Instead of being swept away by them, you can choose how to respond with clarity and compassion. When faced with difficult emotions such as anger or sadness, treat yourself with gentleness. Just as you would comfort a friend in distress, offer yourself words of kindness and understanding. Remember that emotions are transient, like clouds drifting across the sky. They will eventually pass. Cultivate gratitude for the full spectrum of emotions, for each one carries a lesson to be learned. Even in moments of pain, there is an opportunity for growth and insight. Embrace the richness of your emotional landscape, knowing that it is a testament to your humanity. Practice self-compassion by nurturing your inner child, the part of you that feels vulnerable and afraid. Offer yourself the love and reassurance that you would offer to a cherished loved one. Hold yourself gently, like a precious flower, and allow yourself to bloom in the light of your own kindness. Seek refuge in the company of wise and compassionate beings who can offer guidance on your journey. Whether it be a trusted friend, a mentor, or a spiritual teacher, surround yourself with those who uplift and inspire you. As you continue on the path of nurturing emotional balance, remember that it is a lifelong journey, a daily practice of self-discovery and self-care. Celebrate your progress and be patient with yourself in times of struggle. With each mindful breath, you are cultivating the seeds of emotional resilience and inner peace. Lesson 9. Letting Go of Attachments Attachment, the invisible chains that bind us to desires and expectations, is a universal human experience. Think about the last time you felt disappointed or frustrated because something didn't go as planned. That feeling stems from attachment, an attachment to a particular outcome or circumstance. In Buddhism, attachment is seen as one of the primary causes of suffering, and the path to liberation involves letting go of these attachments. Imagine carrying a heavy backpack filled with unnecessary items on a long journey. Each attachment we hold on to is like an extra weight, burdening our minds and souls. Letting go of attachments doesn't mean giving up on our goals or desires entirely. Instead, it means freeing ourselves from the grip of attachment and learning to accept life as it unfolds. Take a moment to reflect on the things you cling to tightly in your life. Perhaps it's the need for approval from others, the desire for material possessions, or the fear of change. These attachments create barriers that prevent us from experiencing true happiness and fulfillment. By releasing these attachments, we create space for peace and contentment to flourish. Learning to let go is a gradual process that requires patience and practice. Start by becoming aware of your attachments and the emotions they stir within you. Notice how holding on to these attachments impacts your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Then, gently begin to loosen your grip, allowing yourself to surrender to the flow of life. 
Imagine yourself standing at the edge of a cliff, holding onto a heavy boulder. As you let go of the boulder, you feel a sense of lightness and freedom wash over you. Similarly, letting go of attachments liberates us from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. We become fully present in the here and now, embracing each moment with open arms. In Buddhism, the concept of impermanence reminds us that everything in life is transient. By clinging to attachments, we resist the natural flow of change and create suffering for ourselves. However, by letting go, we align ourselves with the rhythm of the universe and find peace in the midst of chaos. Picture yourself floating down a gentle river, surrendering to the current without resistance. Letting go of attachments is like allowing yourself to be carried by the flow of life, trusting in its wisdom and guidance. It's about releasing control and surrendering to the greater forces at play. As you cultivate the practice of letting go, you'll notice a profound shift in your mindset and well-being. You'll experience greater ease and flexibility in the face of challenges, knowing that you have the strength to adapt and evolve. Your heart will feel lighter, and your spirit will soar as you embrace the freedom that comes from releasing attachments. In the words of the Buddha, you only lose what you cling to. By letting go of attachments, we open ourselves up to infinite possibilities and limitless potential. We become like the lotus flower, floating gracefully atop the surface of the water, unaffected by the muddy depths below. So. Take a deep breath and let go of whatever is weighing you down. Trust in the process of surrender and allow yourself to be carried by the current of life. In doing so, you'll discover a newfound sense of peace, joy, and liberation. Lesson 10, The Path to Wisdom. In the serene journey of a monk's life, wisdom is not just a destination but a path, paved with simplicity and mindfulness. Imagine a tranquil garden where each step brings clarity and understanding. This is the essence of the monk's pursuit of wisdom. Seeking understanding. At the heart of the monk's journey lies the quest for understanding. Through meditation and reflection, they delve into the depths of their minds, unraveling the mysteries of existence. Learning from experience. Wisdom is not merely acquired from books, but also from the tapestry of life's experiences. Every challenge, every setback is an opportunity for growth and enlightenment. Embracing impermanence. The monk teaches us to embrace impermanence, recognizing that change is the only constant in life. Through this acceptance, we cultivate resilience and inner strength. Letting go of ego. In the pursuit of wisdom, the monk transcends the limitations of ego. By relinquishing attachment to the self, they open themselves to profound insights and deeper connections with the universe. Honoring intuition. The monk listens to the whispers of intuition, trusting in the innate wisdom that resides within each of us. Through quiet contemplation, they tap into this reservoir of knowledge, guiding their actions with clarity and purpose. Living with integrity. Wisdom is not just about knowing. It's about embodying truth and integrity in every aspect of life. The monks' actions align with their values, serving as beacons of inspiration for others. Practicing non-attachment. The monk teaches us the art of non-attachment, freeing ourselves from the chains of desire and craving. Through detachment, we discover a profound sense of liberation and inner peace. Cultivating empathy. Wisdom is born from empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. The monk's compassionate heart embraces all beings with kindness and compassion, fostering harmony and goodwill. Embracing change. The monk understands that change is the catalyst for growth and transformation. Instead of resisting change, they embrace it wholeheartedly, adapting to new circumstances with grace and equanimity. Savoring the present moment. In the pursuit of wisdom, the monk savors the richness of the present moment. Instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, 
they immerse themselves fully in the beauty of now. Practicing Mindfulness Mindfulness is the cornerstone of wisdom, anchoring us in the present moment and heightening our awareness of reality. Through mindful living, the monk cultivates a deep sense of clarity and insight. Celebrating Diversity The monk celebrates the diversity of life, recognizing the interconnectedness of all beings. In this tapestry of existence, every thread is precious, weaving together to form the fabric of wisdom. Honoring Silence Wisdom often speaks in the language of silence. In moments of stillness, the monk listens to the whispers of the universe, receiving guidance and inspiration from the depths of silence. Embracing Humility The path to wisdom is paved with humility, as the monk humbly acknowledges their own limitations and imperfections. Through humility, they remain open to learning and growth, embracing every experience as an opportunity for enlightenment. Practicing Gratitude Gratitude is the fertile soil in which wisdom thrives. The monk cultivates a grateful heart, acknowledging the blessings of life with reverence and appreciation. Forging Inner Strength Wisdom is not just about knowledge. It's also about resilience and inner strength. Through the practice of meditation and self-reflection, the monk cultivates a steadfast spirit that can weather life's storms with grace and fortitude. Walking the Path of Virtue The monk walks the path of virtue, embodying noble qualities such as compassion, honesty, and integrity. Through virtuous living, they inspire others to follow in their footsteps, illuminating the way to wisdom. Nurturing Relationships Wisdom blossoms in the soil of meaningful relationships. The monk nurtures connections with others, fostering a sense of community and belonging that enriches their journey towards enlightenment. Serving others. The ultimate expression of wisdom is service to others. The monk selflessly devotes themselves to the well-being of all beings, spreading love and compassion wherever they go. Embracing the journey. In the end, the path to wisdom is not a destination but a journey. A journey of self-discovery, growth, and transformation. With each step we take along this path, may we be guided by the wisdom of the monk, illuminating our way with the light of enlightenment. Conclusion As we draw near the end of our journey through the transformative habits of monks, let's pause and reflect on the profound wisdom we've encountered. These monk habits, rooted in the teachings of Buddhism, offer us a timeless roadmap to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. They remind us that true happiness and contentment lie not in the pursuit of external possessions or achievements, but in the cultivation of inner virtues. By embracing mindfulness, we learn to savor each moment, fully present and alive to the richness of our experience. We discover the beauty of simplicity, freeing ourselves from the burden of excessive wants and desires. Gratitude becomes our constant companion, opening our hearts to the abundance that surrounds us, even in the smallest of things. In our quest for inner peace, we realize the power of compassion, both towards ourselves and others. We learn to forgive, to let go of resentment and anger, and to extend a hand of kindness to those in need. Living in the present moment, we release the grip of worries about the future or regrets about the past finding solace and joy in the here and now. Self-discipline becomes our ally on the path to self-mastery, enabling us to stay true to our values and goals even in the face of challenges. We learn to balance our emotions, responding with wisdom and equanimity to life's ups and downs. And as we let go of attachments, we discover a profound sense of freedom, untethered from the transient pleasures of the material world. But perhaps most importantly, these monk habits guide us on the journey to wisdom. They teach us to see beyond the surface of things, to discern the impermanent nature of reality, and to embrace the interconnectedness of all beings. In cultivating these habits, we not only transform our own lives but also contribute to the well-being of the world around us. 
So let us carry forward the lessons we've learned, integrating them into our daily lives with intention and dedication. Let us walk the path of mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom, knowing that each step brings us closer to the fulfillment of our highest potential. And may the light of these monk habits illuminate our way, guiding us towards a life of greater joy, purpose, and fulfillment.